good afternoon students today is the last class for this week hope everyone had your lunch so today we will start the topic related to the introduction to the working of window air conditioner and split air conditioner systems and also the problems so generally the window air conditioning system uh, split air conditioning wall mounting or cassette type all will work on the principle of vapor compression refrigeration system right so today we'll discuss those models with working description right so see here the figure the concept so generally the window ac we are generally using for domestic purpose it may be one ton half ton 1.2 ton 1.5 ton like that so this ac is totally working on vapor compression refrigeration system okay so in this okay so this air condition is mostly widely used types of air condition because these are the simple in use and ease of maintenance and ease of maintenance So here, this AC systems based upon the rigid base. If we see the window AC, the oldest model of oldest model of air conditioning system, where the physical setup is completely solid physical setup, which is single unit box. So the window ACs in olden days, you can see in uh, uh, government offices, libraries, school colleges any uh, residential complex residential buildings apartments like this you can see the window ac is fitted to the window and it is only the one big component where all the components are installed in it right so this type of system is assembled inside the casing which is fitted into the wall or the window of a room in which the air conditioner is fitted right then this type of window ac systems where you are having all the components inside the chamber and half the half or one fourth of the component will be inside the room or office and remaining will be outside the place the whole assembly of the window air conditioner is divided into two compartments so generally if you open the window air conditioner which which, which you open the window ac it is totally com consists of two compartments one is inside the room other one is outside the room right so it consists of two compartments first one the room side which is also cooling side and the outer side where the heat absorbed by the room and is liberated to the atmosphere the room side and the outdoor side are separated from each other by an insulated partition enclosed inside the a window air conditioner so if you see the exported view or if you see the inner view of any window air conditioner so generally it consists of two components two lobes two components where it is partitioned by a hard material so the one half is inside the room where you are getting cooling effect the other half is outside the room where you are getting uh, transferring the heat from inside to the outside that is the evaporator place so once if you see the exploded view or if you see the inner view of any window ac then you can come to know how it is exactly acting right so we see some of the figures so that you can come to know how the window ac is so the various parts of window air conditioners can be divided into following categories some of the now if you see the 
the parts of window air condition system can be divided into various categories the first one is the refrigeration system the refrigeration system the air in circulation system and ventilation system the control system and electric appliance production system all these things have been discussed um, below along with the front panel and other parts if you see the schematic layout of the com components so this is a compressor where the air is getting compressed and it is accumulator it is passing into the evaporator is converted into the vapor form so here through the fan condenser motor through the fan to the dryer filter the air is going inside the air is general air is going inside the condenser so when now it is going into condenser it is getting condensed condensed means it is getting a cool effect thereby you are getting cool breeze or cool air from this place right so this is the schematic diagram of a window ac next point and now if you see the uh, all views of the window ac so you can observe that how the window ac look like so this is a 3d view or this is a real original view of a window ac where this part so don't you, this part is this part is inside the this part is inside the cabin this part is inside the this part is inside this that part is outside the room now if you see the side view or if you see the top view now first to see the top view so here so this is the outside air this is the outside air coming to the motor here the warm room air warm room air is going like this means the raw the warm room air is going like this okay now uh, the cold air is coming in this direction so if you see here the warm room air is going here and it is passing into the condenser so when the air is passing into this chamber through the blower the outside air air motor is taking the warm air and it is passing into the outside air where it is passed through the condenser and again it is passing to the this chamber see the air flow the warm air is flowing in this direction right it is passing through the blowers and it is passing in this direction and it is coming as a cold room air here the outside air is also going inside and here you are getting the process here and the thermostat is also going outside right so this is a simple top view of window air conditioner system coming to the side view coming to the side view see here it is partitioned this is
Now if you see here, the side view, the side view consists of inside unit and outside unit. In the inside unit, in the inside unit where you can see the half portion is inside your room and the half portion is outside the room. So it is mounted on the base pin where you are having the pin and outside clamp assembly right so here if you see the outside panel you are having a cabinet inside the cabinet you are having a condenser the fan motor the drain output where the water is coming outside and a fan and a compressor coming to the indoor unit you are having the front panel the cool air motor the air filter the evaporator process or the draining process so this is the simple feature of this canon this air 
refrigeration system so here you are having a blower wheel where the air is going inside and coming out as a cool air so as a top wheel mirror air lo vidigal tundi badiki loss but here is going and again here is coming out so this is the representation of window air conditioning system window air conditioning system so if you see the working of this system the ac gives the schematic working of window air conditioner uh, and it has a two cycles of air one is hot cycle other one is a cold cycle the window air conditioning has the window air conditioning has two cycles to explain the window air conditioning has two cycles of air to explain one is hot air other one is a cold air the components the compartments of the room of the, and the hot air are separated by the insulation partition where it is to use it to maintain the temperature the setting of the thermostat gives the uh, information whether it's working has done or not what's the meaning of thermostat here a thermostat is a device which can be used for cut off whenever the process or whenever the work is completed next room air cycle first one is a room air cycle first setting is the compartments has two types and not gonna two types first one is a room air cycle the air moving inside the air and either moving it's inside the room the air moving inside the room and in front of part of the air conditioner where the cooling coil is located is considered to be the room air so what's the meaning of room air the room air means the room air means whatever the air is present inside the room all and and the air which is circulated the outer part of the ac outer part of the ac is nothing but the room air is nothing but the room air now when you switch on, when you switch on the refrigerator when you switch on the refrigerator the window ac the window when you switch on the refrigerator when you switch on the ac it is started the blower so when you first switch on the ac first the blower starts to rotate later immediately after few seconds a compressor starts working so first we switch on just now but when you switch on the window air condition first the blower starts to rotate and when the blower starts to rotate and come to a saturation point then at the few seconds the compressor also will start therefore the evaporator coil or the cooling gets cooled the evaporator coil makes the air cool as soon as the compressor is started so we put it a blower start in a good the second ski compressor start in the water then automatically the evaporator coil makes the air cool and suddenly it gets cool and it is coming from the compressor next the blower behind the cooling coil the blower behind the cooling coil cooling coil what it do sucks the room air so blower record item on physical asset is ammo so the blower will sucks the room inside the air inside the room which at a high temperature high temperature it is taking out and also carries the dust and the dust particles and also carries carries the dust and dust particles on this path towards the blower so whenever it is flowing in this direction towards the blower the room air first passes through the filter and it gets filtered where the dust and that is collected at that point at that point next at the hot air cycle coming to the hot air cycle so the hot air cycle includes the atmospheric air which is present outside the room and it is used for cooling the condenser the condenser which is placed at the second unit of the window ac where it is used where the hot air is used which is surrounded by the ac the condenser of the window the condenser of the window air conditioner is exposed to the external atmosphere so finally according to the condenser condenser will be outside and the evaporator and the blower will be inside the propeller fan located behind the condenser the propeller fan in jirutundi which is located behind the condenser sucks the atmospheric air so the propeller fan takes the atmospheric air which is placed below the condenser at high temperatures 
and it blows over the air over the condenser antam ayinda next the refrigerant inside the condenser the refrigerant inside the condenser is at very high temperature em jarutundi ikkada the refrigerant inside the condenser the refrigerant which is inside the condenser is it is at high temperature and has to be cooled to produce a desired cooling effect when the atmospheric air passes over the condenser when the atmospheric air passes over the condenser the heat is absorbed from the refrigerant and the temperature increases thereby the atmospheric pressure is already at the high temperature and after absorbing the condenser the temperature even become more higher then the person standing behind the condenser of the window ac can feel clearly the heat of the hot air since the temperature of the air is very high this is called hot air cycle understood so you are having two regions to explain for the window ac system one is cool air cycle other one is a hot air cycle coming to the hot air cycle coming to the hot air cycle where it is it is processed at the outdoor point of the window ac through the help of this condenser and the mind to the help of this condenser next next the refrigerant what we are using in the condenser the refrigerant after getting cooled enters the expansion valve and then the evaporator then what happens next one the refrigerant after getting cooled during the process once the refrigerant getting cooled a cooled air enters the expansion valve and then to the evaporator on this hand the hot mixes of atmospheric and then the fresh atmospheric air is absorbed by the propeller and the blown over the condenser this cycle of hot air continues in this process next setting the speed of the air so how the speed of the air can be set at by using the remote control or manually now the speed of the air the speed of the air can be set by the fan motor just like how you are switching the fan with the regulator here also the speed of the air can be set by the fan motor provided by a control panel your ac has a remote control that you can see the fan speed can set on time the motor of the blower is of multi speed the motor of the blower is of multi speed then the type engage and the changing of the speed of the flow of air inside the room the important parts of the window ac so the important part of the window ac is the air filter where it is located for window ac as well as a split ac or other ac systems next the air filter is very important part of the window ac since it cleans the dust air before entering into the room just how we are having the nose inside that you are having the hair mucus so the foreign particles poisonous particles or other foreign particles will not get into the body and it will struck at that point only thereby we can clear those toxic or hot substances from our nose in the same way for proper functioning of the ac filter is very very important to clean the these things right to clean these things so for every th two weeks or three weeks we have to clean the filter if this is not done what happen the filter will get choked and it will not be able to clean the air so generally air generally in the air you are having the dust and dirt particles which is very 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 minute to see through the microscope or through the naked eye so in such cases what you are doing so the purpose of condenser is just placing just placing the filter and it should be clean for every 3 weeks or 2 weeks so that we can avoid the dust from choking dust from choking it if this happens ac will stop functioning 
and cleaning of the evaporator becomes very tedious process so once you are not maintained properly what happens the ac will stop functioning and the cleaning of evaporator will be more time being process and compared to the cleaning of the filter cleaning the filter hardly takes five minutes and do it regularly and enjoy the controls of comforts of window ac system at timely basis at timely basis this is all about your window ac system next one is split ac system next component to discuss is a split ac so generally the next version of window ac one box unit is a split ac where you are having two compartments one is inside the room other one is outside the room see the figures by this figure you can come to know where you have shown all these types of refrigerator so if you see the shopping malls or cinema theaters you doesn't you doesn't see this type of split aces only in houses or in office or somewhere in apartments or villas or somewhere or uh, in the transportation of uh, uh, transportation vehicles like big vans you can see this type of split ac so split and in the question the initially this both are two this both are two and now it is we are calling them as one single unit that is that is this uh, window ac now the window ac is further transformed to the split ac where you are having two compartments one compartment is placed inside the in, uh, indoor place that is nothing but indoor unit and outdoor unit so miru this type of uh, system already i have seen right unlike the system requires a series of duct work network throughout the ceiling split air conditioners relay on that set pipes split air conditioners rely on that set of pipes to connect the outdoor of the outdoor to the inside air out of which why there is there are referred as a ductless mini split air conditioning installation so here the refrigerant used is dispersed through the copper pipes and the cycle through the system to generate either heated or at cool air understood so this is a window air system this is a outdoor air system where you are having a evaporator and a flower blower and a fan outside in order to release or exit the hot hot air system next the main parts we are having two main parts of the split air condition the main parts is indoor unit and exit uh, indoor unit and exit door unit indoor unit and outdoor unit so again the indoor unit has having number of compartments and, uh, com and components and outdoor or extreme units are having the other set of things right so the main parts of this uh, window ac uh, the split ac is also outdoor unit and indoor unit so we will see this one in detail so what is the meaning of outdoor unit so this is a outdoor unit This is an outdoor unit where it is placed outside the room. Right. The unit of the this unit houses the important compartments of the air conditioner, like that the compressor, condenser, evaporator, expansion, dry, dry and the capillation tubing. This unit is installed, this unit is installed outside the room or office space where is to, where is to be cooled. The compressor is the maximum noise making. So when you switch on the AC, obviously outside you will observe some temperature. Right or wrong? You'll observe some temperature. The compressor is the maximum noise making of the air conditioner. And since in the split air conditioner, it is located outside the room. So that's why we are getting no sound. We are getting very less sound whenever you are using split ac 
the major source of this one is noise is eliminated if the in the outdoor unit if there are if there is a fan that blows air over the condenser in the outdoor unit if there is a fan that blows air outside uh, over the condenser thus cooling the compressed refrigerant freon gas this gas passes through the expansion coil and gets converted into the low pressure thereby the low temperature parallel to the so this or the simple concept of outdoor unit right the girl passes through the expansion and expand coils next one is next one is a indoor unit the first one what you are discussing the outdoor unit the next one is a indoor unit this unit is produced this unit is placed inside the room at certain height right the indoor unit that produces the cooling effect inside the room or the office this is a beautiful looking tall unit placed horizontally uh, the colors depends through these days a number of stylish Coming to the indoor unit, the indoor unit produces a cooling effect inside the room or the office, which is a horizontal unit, stylish unit models of the indoor unit are being launched. The indoor house, the, the indoor unit house, houses the evaporator. The indoor unit houses the evaporator coil or the cooling coil and a long blower on the filter. After the passing of the after passing from the expansion coil, the chilled freon, the refrigerant is freon fluid enters the cooling coil. This blower sucks the hot, humid and filtered air from the room and blows it over the cooling place. As the air passes over the cooling coil, cooling coil's temperature of what happens as the air passes through the cooling coil, the temperature will get reduced, the temperature will get reduced and also excess loss of moisture is wasted. The cool and dry air enters the room manometers and the comfortable conditioners of the around 225 to uh, sorry 25 to 27 degrees as per the requirement so what it is saying as the air passes over the cooling coil so whenever the air is passing over the cooling coil its temperature really gets reduced and also the loss of moisture excess loss of moisture then the cool and dry air enters the room and maintains comfortable conditions of around 22 to 27, 25 to 27 degrees centigrade as per the requirements that is about the indoor unit the split air conditioner is one of the most widely used type of ac earlier window or air conditioning system was used but widely we are using then is used for the air conditioners the split air conditioner is one of the most widely used for this type of air conditioner which is working on vapor combustion air refrigeration cycle earlier the window air conditioner was mostly used but the split or air conditioner is seeing the process the major reason, the major reasons behind the popularity of the split air conditioner and their silent and their silent operation and elegant looks another advantage of the split air conditioner is thigh you don't have any sort therefore the another disadvantage of having this one is the split air conditioner is that you don't have to make the hole inside the wall of the air conditioner and destroy the beauty of the room so here what it is saying uh, instead of uh, instead of this baggage corona instead of this advantage of split ac you call you have to make the hole in the wall of the air conditioner and destroy the whole beauty of the room these days the indoor units getting popularity 
The split air conditioner are available in a wide range of colors and prices. The two main purposes of split AC air conditioner is the indoor unit and the outdoor unit. The indoor unit of the split AC is installed inside the room so that the air condition of the cool or cool will, while the outdoor unit is installed outside the room and in the open space where it is maintained easily. Apart from these two major things, there is a copper tubing connected the indoor and the outdoor units. So what it is saying? Only this indoor and outdoor inside the parts is not only a simple task. At the same time, uh, the two major parts are connected by a tubing that is about copper tubing where you are getting very cool air from that copper. Right? Right? If you see the split AC, so inside the room, inside the room, you are placing at a height, and outside the room, you are placing at a height. So these are the positions of this outdoor unit. One evaporator is placed here. Two filter three fan fan is placed here. Next fourth one is gas line. From here to the connection, you are having a gas line, liquid line where the liquid is passing, compressor where it is placed outdoor. Condenser where it is placed outdoor unit compressor and condenser you are having fan at the outdoor unit which is placed at the bottom of the compartment right here you see the A the air inside the room is passing here next P through the blower fan it is coming outside C the air out it is outside the atmosphere is passing into the this one and making the room cool and the D whatever the room air is passing inside through the pipes it is coming outside and the hot air is blower going outside the cool air is going inside so that is a simple concept of this split air conditioning system so here the outdoor unit is installed outside the room to be air conditioned then in the outdoor unit lots of air is generated so outdoor unit generally if you go and stand there you can feel hot it is in hot condition right the heat is generated in the outdoor unit lot of heat is generated inside the compressor and the condenser hence there should be sufficient flow of air around it so whenever the air is flowing in the 360 degrees all the way then lots of heat is generated the outdoor unit is usually installed at the right at the height above the height of the indoor unit uh, inside the room through on many cases the outdoor is installed at the level below the indoor unit right so in many cases the outdoor box the second box should be below the indoor unit the outdoor unit contains the important parts of the split ac the outdoor unit what happens it consists of the most important part that is the compressor the condenser the fan the expansion walls etc so the outdoor unit is usually installed at the height above the height of the indoor unit at a height above the height of the indoor unit through in many cases the outdoor unit is installed at the below the window unit below the window so you are having both chances of keeping the outer box outer compartment where it is the height it is over height uh, towards the our height or you can you can place outside the thick material at your at your place and you can start doing the process right so with this we'll stop here tomorrow we'll discuss about floor ac and 
cassette type of uh, air conditioning system and later we'll start the problems related to this topic right so how many students were present so vinay kumar just you came just at the last few minutes and you are getting the attendance but that is not fair so the last chance vinay kumar don't do this type of things next time so we'll stop the class here we'll catch up on monday 31st class hope enjoy this sunday stay safe stay at home